It's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today we're back here with a buffering video. If you're having trouble with slowness, buffering, any type of just lagging type of Amazon Fire TV performance, you want to use this app. This app will fix all of your issues. That's 50% of the issue. And we're going to touch on a few things that will clear up all of your Fire Stick needs. So let's go and touch on this app here. And what this app will tell us is if these apps are running in the background. So you'll notice some of these apps say force stop, highlight in green and some say stop highlighted in gray so what that means is if that app says for stop the app is running in the background taking up resources and resources meaning internet connection internet speed because these are wireless devices so and what that means is you want to make sure that all of these apps are for stopped in the background and you want to make sure that all of your resources are being dedicated to one specific app so that's how you guarantee the best performance on your Amazon Fire TV. So let's go and dial into this app. So at first glance, you notice multiple different categories in this app. This app, once again, is called Dev Squid. In the top left hand corner, you have privacy tests. To the right of that, you have speed tests, booster, malware scan, device. And then at the very end, you have this manage section, which is where I am. I'm just going to go down the list. You want to do this for each one of your apps. You click the four stop button next to the app that's running in the background come down here click on four stop once you click on four stop it's very easy just click the back button it takes you back and then now you can see that app instead of it saying force close it now says stopped highlighted in gray so come down here do this for each and every app that you have running in the background and i guarantee you this will free up a lot of your performance speed once again just click on that app click on four stop click the back button and it takes you back and you just continue down this list one by one until you get all of these apps force closed. So force stop, click the back button. So I was able to force close all of these apps. Now when I scroll down the list, you can see that everything is force closed. Everything says stopped, highlighted in gray. So now we can move on to the next step. Now we should have 50% peak performance. And with that alone, continuously month over month, I've always force closed my apps and I've always seen the best performance. After I force close all my apps, after a long period of time, I start to see everything moving at pace. And when I click, it's very snappy. So you should be experiencing that as well if you force close all of your apps. Also, if you wanna go the extra mile, you can go ahead and click on the next tab that says device. Under here, you'll get a little bit more information, but we'll continue to the left here and click on malware scan. You can also do a deep scan on the apps that you have installed on your device to see if they have been infected with any viruses that could potentially cause you any type of security harm or risk. So click on start deep scan. It'll scan your device within minutes, within seconds sometimes, and it'll tell you which apps are harmless and which ones aren't. So let's go ahead and do this deep scan. I'm gonna give it a moment and then we'll see what results it comes back with. And also not only can you run that deep scan while it's scanning, you can also cycle to the left and click on booster. You can click on start boosting device what this will do is clear up cache files that you no longer need on your amazon fire tv device freeing up a lot of junk files on your device that you no longer need because these were just temporary files i'm gonna click on start boosting device click on allow it says here, do you want to delete old APK files? So normally when you download an APK, it stores that file on your system. And we no longer need that after we install the app. So just click on yes. And it'll start to do that scan. And we can cycle back to the malware scan to check on the progress of that. All right, so the scan is almost finished now. 
let's go ahead and cycle to the bottom it says here there's about four apps that could be potentially malware or harmless to this device and let's go ahead and see what they are at the very bottom it says one is the roku channel which is very odd because that should be a trusted app that everyone uses but i know they were breached recently so it doesn't surprise me so i'll go ahead and uninstall that then it says downloader cinema and strix could potentially be harmless so i'll go ahead and uninstall all of these apps and reinstall them possibly and then do the deep scan again just to confirm that those apps are not malicious and i've received the latest updates that could protect me from any malicious activity so also at the very top once you've confirmed the booster malware scan and you force close all your apps if you want to go the extra mile as well you can use this speed test because the def squid speed test sometimes you'll get this screen where it doesn't load and in case you experience that there is a better speed test other than def squid so let's click the home button on the fire stick remote and you just want to go to the magnifying glass and search for an app go down to the search and just type in and once you start to type in SPEE, -E, you'll see speed test, the second search result below. Click on speed test. You want to go over to the right, click on speed test Wi-Fi analyzer. This is the most in-depth Wi-Fi analyzer I've seen. It's very quick. You just open it up, download it. It immediately starts to ping, get you your ping connection, also get you your Wi-Fi download and upload speed. And it tells you based on your internet speed it gives you how much quality output your experience will be so if you want to experience 1080p 4k or even 8k it tells you based on green check marks or red x's if your connection can handle that quality that's definitely a good resource i use it all the time as you can see i'm at 361 megabits per second which isn't too bad but you want to make sure that you're running at 25 megabits per second or greater to guarantee the quality experience that you'll have using a fire tv device which is primarily a wi-fi device so with all of these steps, you should be getting a better experience with your Amazon Fire TV, even just with force closing those apps. And then now you've also deleted some cache files and you've ran a malware scan and now you've checked your speed test to make sure you're getting a good output to have a quality experience on the Amazon Fire TV. The next thing that you can do is hold your center button and your play button on your Fire TV remote, hold those down and it'll restart your Amazon Fire TV. If you hold it down for five seconds, it'll restart your Amazon Fire TV. Also, if you don't wanna use the hotkey on the remote, you can go over to the settings, come over here and go down to My Fire TV, click on My Fire TV, and then once you go down, you can manually restart it from here as well. But there's tons of different things that you can do to enhance the experience of your Amazon Fire TV. You can also go the extra mile of resetting back to the factory defaults that resets it back to when you first got it from the store and you brought it home and you were setting it up brand new. That's basically what that experience would be like starting from brand new. So those are the steps that you want to take if you're experiencing any Wi-Fi issues, buffering issues, slowness or lagging on the Amazon Fire TV. Also, if you want to know how to install this app, all we have to do is go over to the magnifying glass, go down to the search and type in D. E F. As you type that in, you'll see it in the second or third search result. It should say Def Squid. And then you want to click on Def Squid. If you don't have it installed already, it'll ask you to download it. But if you do, it'll just automatically open up like this. And you can start using it right away and click on Manage and then start force closing your apps. So there you have it. You'll have that app right there for you. And also, if you're looking for this app for the first time, go over to the plus sign and the three squares. On the right hand side click on that and then you'll normally see death squid somewhere in this your apps and channels list mine is at the very top here under death squid also if you want to move that click on your three lines on your remote and you can move it to the front or move it around so those are the additional options you have there but i hope that was helpful let me know if this was helpful in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video give it a like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one peace